Welcome to the longest running, the original, the only traveling world Filipino Chinese lifestyle magazine show, Chinatown TV. 欢迎收看非洲电视台 I'm your host, Candice Tan. No need to fly all the way to Seoul just to visit the W Two Worlds inspired comics book cafe. Dahil alam nyo ba? A handful of similarly designed local shops are slowly but surely popping up across the country to give us the same 2D experience. 这次准备参加布拉干自己的漫画 2D 艺术咖啡馆 Just as the name suggests, pag pasok pa lang dito sa habubuhas ng milk tea shop, will have you feeling like a character in a comic book strip. Instead of the usual black and white coating that most of these trendy cafes typically go for, this particular shop is painted in predominantly green shades that will surely remind you of the local comics you used to read in your youth. Curious na ba kayo? Let's watch this. Dito lamang buwan ng Marso. The Comics 2D Art Cafe showcases the Comics 2D floor-to-ceiling comic strip murals to create the desired optical illusion of immersing oneself in a 2D fictional world. Even the furniture blends in perfectly. Actually, uh, first choice ko pa talaga is uh, black and white po na 2D cafe. But since marami na po nagalabasa na black and white 2D cafe, so as sinabi ko nung Artist ko, a very young artist named Rob Rob Pamilinan. Parang sabi ko na bakit ito natin gula yan. So yun po, yung mga namin po, Lord, because uh, naging maganda po yung feedback na lahat ng tao na mag-ingat po ito, that is po yung kaanaw na na po, Lord, hindi kami po dito sa hapon na ito. Uh, Nag-open po kami noong March 12. And then after three weeks, hindi ako uh, nag-lock the model. And sayang na po, dahil naging maganda po yung simula po namin, After three weeks, nag-close po kami yung mga ano, yung nag-seeking. The thing we're doing is, yung family po, mamili po sa comics, uh, lagi po. Uh, I don't know kung naabot na po ng iba. Yung mga ikis pa po ito, uh, brother ko po, lagi po po, mahilig po sila sa comics. And then, yun po yung nag-ease po ng pangalan. Kwento pa nga ni Herbert, naging malaking inspirasyon raw sa kanya ang pagkahilig ng kanyang ama at kapatid noon sa pagbabasa ng comics. Kaya naman, his dream of putting up the first 2D mural Pinoy Comics inspired cafe became a reality. Ayun po, nagkakakatawa po kasi pagka meron mga nagpupunta dito yung mga guests namin, uh, sinasabi po nila talaga na para silang nasa loob ng comics po, makulay po, and very Instagramable po siya. Oh, dati po nagugulat ako dahil uh, akala ko magiging target ko po ng guest customers kayong mga bata pero ayun po marami mga uh, iba't ibang edad na nagpupunta dito na sa 40s, 50s eh natutuwa po sila pag na, na, nagpupunta po sila dito dahil makulay na po uh, pagpasok nyo po dito usually ang makikita nyo po is para kayo nasa loob ng bahay dito po sa gilid uh, makikita nyo po dito para may window and then nandun po yung uh, Well, two weeks pa dito po sa San Cedar Mountain, which is the Grotto Church. Kahit po yung mga tables namin, uh, may painting po sila. Kahit po yung ceiling po namin, may mga painting po ng mga parang mga clouds, mga balloons po. And then even to the window, nilagyan po namin ang mga design. Perfect for Instagram posts, the venues, hand-drawn items, and parts of the house are cool spots for pictures. And with everything from wall to ceiling, to tables, to chairs painted and outlined in sunny yellow and lemon green shades, your photographs will surely depict an illusion that you're dining inside a local comics Filipinos used to read. Best sellers po namin dito, uh, dito ay sa Milti po, yung comic signature. Kami po ang mismo nag, uh, nag-implant po doon. Kaya... Yung mga customers po namin, gusto po nila i-try ito, ano po ang lasa dito. And then, meron din po kami takoyaki na binabalik-balikan dahil po dun sa sauce. May super low price din po kami na pakaiba po siya dahil uh, mahaba po talaga siya. And meron din po kami mga shawarma and mga light snacks po. With a long list of food and beverage, 
Herbert assures that there's something more than meets the eye in his unique cafe. Hi guys, so ito po yung mga offer namin sa so, Obis Nandi Art Cafe. Ito po yung mga specialty po namin. Ito po, uh, long fries. Super long fries po. Uh, meron po siya mga beef, uh, vegetables, and may special sauce po kami na nilalagay na uh, sobrang pinabalikan po ng mga tao. Ito naman po yung aming overload pizza. Meron po siya mga olives, uh, mushroom, beef, uh, pepperoni. And ito naman po ang aming uh, best-seller din po, uh, takoyaki. This one is octopus po. na may special sauce din po kami nilalagay na pagkarating po po ng mga tao talagang binabalikan po nila at ito naman po ang aming signature milk tea natawag po namin itong comic signature milk tea kami lang po bumuma nito uh, meron po kami ibang ibang syrup na nilagay po dito na sobrang binabalikan po ng mga tao ito naman po ang strawberry and cream uh, ito is composed of strawberry syrup and uh, cookies and cream po this one naman po ang aming royal cheese cake one of our best sellers dito So tara po, bisitahin nyo na po kami dito. I'm inviting everyone to visit uh, Comics to the Art Cafe. We are located at second floor, Jump Building, Katex ng Pumbanga, in front of SM Sunset del Monte. Our operating hours is 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can also like uh, our Facebook page, Comics to the Art Cafe, and Instagram, Comics to the Art Cafe. You have so much of Chinatown TV when we return. Please be sure to turn on the television station. Kayo ay nakatutok pa rin dito sa amin sa CNTV. Ako po si Candice Dan Chen Jingyu. 接下来，让我们一起来关注华社新闻。阿丁阿拉米阿蒙巴贡格格纳本是菲律宾的 Chinese community。The Chinese Embassy in the Philippines issued a notice on the arrangements for consular document services during MECQ。中国驻菲律宾使馆发布关于继续做好 MECQ 期间领事证件服务有关安排的通知。据中国驻菲律宾使馆消息，菲律宾政府四月二十八号宣布，首都大马尼拉地区及邻近的布拉干、贾米蒂、拉古纳、黎沙四省实施的修订版加强社区隔离措施延长至五月十四号，普通民众仍需严格遵守有关隔离要求，非必要情况不得外出。考虑到当前非疫情形势仍非常严峻，根据非政府有关隔离要求，为最大限度保护申请人身体健康，并兼顾大家的办证需求，现对五月一号至十四号的领事证件服务安排做如下调整。一、使馆将在 MECQ 期间优先安排为护照已过期或有效期不足一个月的申请人及其他有特殊紧急办证需要的申请人提供证件服务。预约方式暂时通过邮箱预约。二、此前已通过海外申请护照在线预约平台预约于五月一号至十四号期间办理护照业务的申请人，且在上述第一条情况之外的。无需再次预约，使馆将于 MECQ 结束后优先安排办理，具体日期另行主动通知。三、中国公民领事证件业务咨询，请发送电子邮件或拨打领事证件手机咨询热线，中文、闽南语接听时间为工作日上午九时至十一时，下午二时至四时。使馆将加大人力保障，全力确保沟通顺畅，及时回应大家关切。中国驻菲律宾大使馆将继续密切关注非疫情形势和非政府有关社区隔离政策调整情况，合理安排证件服务预约事宜，及时满足在非中国同胞的办证需求。非中新闻台综合报道。Overseas Chinese Alumni Association of the Philippines, Filipino Chinese Xinlian Association, Filipino Chinese Amity Club, and World News Daily presented Dr. Deng Qiming. In a Zoom forum on COVID-19 home prevention and treatment, 校友联、青年工会、联谊会、世界日报社联合主办郑启明中医师
，新冠肺炎居家防治线上讲座。近一个多月来，菲律宾新冠疫情严重，人心惶惶。校友联、新联工会、飞华联谊会、世界日报社四团体再次携手合作，于五月一号下午邀请华社闻名的郑启明中医师。为大家线上讲解关于新冠肺炎的居家防治。当天出席医疗讲座的非华人数达到七百七十人，盛况为近期以来华社中医药讲座所罕见。非华联谊总会代国安名誉理事长等领导为讲座做了大量筹备和协调。新联工会黄天从会长主持医学讲座，世界日报吴忠正社长致辞，非华联谊总会姚金正副理事长介绍主讲医师。郑启明中医师是中国菲律宾中医药中心非方主任，菲律宾中医及针灸协会主席，华社抗疫委员会中医药治疗咨询组副组长，非华商联总会理事长中医药特别助理。他学识渊博，对中医药有深入的研究，而且有丰富的临床经验，是位医术精湛、医德高尚的中医师。由于新冠疫情严重，病例暴增，医院超负荷。不少轻度感染者选择了居家隔离治疗的方法。郑医师赞成居家防治的做法，但是如果患者发生呼吸困难、病情变化，就应该住院治疗。中国成功采用中西医结合，对新冠疫情防治发挥了重要的作用。郑医师说，居家防治，家里有什么中成药就用什么药，但不建议多种药物同时服用，因为这样会给肝脏造成负面的作用，甚至伤害。世界日报社和校友联都有在免费赠送清肺排毒汤等中药，帮助患者早日康复。郑启明中医师还要求大家一定要戴合格的医用口罩，注意自身防护，减少接触，避免交叉感染。家里窗户一定要打开，使空气流通。要做点运动，注意营养，增强体质，增强抵抗力。郑医师还回答了现场许多听众提出的问题。并为大家讲解了中国以及其他国家疫苗的种类，希望大家及早接种。接着，中国菲律宾中医药中心蔡雅婷医生分享了中医针灸推拿治疗新冠病毒的方法。最后，校友联张年喜主席致谢词，然后黄天从宣布近三个小时的医学讲座圆满结束。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。We can often be guilty of overlooking how important shooting sports can be for our personal well-being. Na habubuti ra ang target shooting for keeping us active. It also builds self-esteem, confidence, and is an excellent way to spend your downtime as well as develop lasting friendships. At kung kulang pa ang mga sinasabi ko, hay ay pagmimig ng isang hi ka tingshen do yung hangyang na健康 hi chu. It is also proven to have measurable health benefits, both physical and mental. Tara, let's practice firing at Manila's first and Asia's premier and only toxic-free firing range, Strong Hand Shooting Range. The gaya ng ibang sports or recreational activities, target shooting represents a lifetime practical skill rarely taught and learned, yet which implications are more serious than most others. As such, Strong Hat isn't behind when it comes to prioritizing safety. They even take pride in being Asia's first and only toxic-free indoor shooting range, thanks to their turbine ventilation, HEPA filters, and use of toxic-free ammo. No need for you to worry about inhaling all the smoke from the firings. Hi, good afternoon. This is Strong Hand Shooting Range. My name is Jojo Go. I am the operations manager of our indoor toxic-free shooting range. Uh, Ten years ago, or now it will be twelve years ago, the directors of Strong Hand Shooting Range uh, pulled their money together to open Asia's first. Non-toxic indoor shooting range. It was spawned from the uh, Stronghand Incorporated, which is the mother company. So the directors there opened the firing range and uh, made it our own.
Pagpasok sa building, nakaka-amaze to find the place softly lit and a lot friendlier to the eyes. The entire place is obviously well-maintained and generally has a non-intimidating vibe. Priding themselves in safety, cleanliness, and exceptional service and facilities, Stronghand is your best bet for a fun, secure, and first-class shooting experience. Uh, Stronghand Shooting Range is Asia's first and only non-toxic firing indoor range. What sets us apart is that you can only use lead-free, barium-free, ammonia-free, and sulfate-free uh, ammunition in our range. The HEPA filters is also an added feature that conditions the air so that it would be safe for us to breathe in. Lalo na ngayon pandemia, now we are quite uh, happy to announce that our commercial ionizers, just like medical institutions and medical uh, clinics, is exactly what we're using for our guests and our shooters. For now, uh, during this time, we highly encourage uh, prepaid reservations for beginners only because our instructor should be available there for you every 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock or 4 in any given day. For the ones that are seated shooters, the ones na marunong na, marunong na mag-unjam ng sarili nilang barrel, you can come and walk in or you can also make your reservations so that you don't have to wait. We require only Philippine government issued ID for all of our uh, local guests and passports for our foreign guests. Uh, in this way, we already know that he or she is law abiding, so they'll be able to uh, adapt to our conditions at the range as well. Aside from that, we have our standard forms for registration and uh, basic gun safety rules. I've heard from our members and guests that they like to let off steam especially our good guests and members at the nearby hospitals, which is St. Luke's, Cardinal, and all of the medical institutions, they come here um, as our guests in between their clinics. So they let off steam. Lawyers come here in between hearings. Uh, contractors and engineers also come here because the stresses of our day doesn't allow mostly men and some women to expel all that energy in their hobby or in something that they like to do. We'll be honest, uh, we are in an industry of adult uh, weapons, artillery, and outdoor sport shooting. So for you to come, uh, should you have uh, mental conditions or, a bit, or still sensitive, uh, sensitive emotionally, do come with your family and friends. We, we are family friendly and we urge for you to take up a sport that will allow you to expel your energies with your family and friends. So we adhere to the four cardinal rules which is the worldwide rule that we all follow in the shooting community. Uh, you, don't, you simply cannot put your finger into the trigger because you have to assume that it's loaded at all times. You also cannot point the firearm at anyone or anything that has people beyond it. Uh, I know this sounds logical to all of us, but we tend to see the firearm or see these weapons as sometimes toys or sometimes casual things like a camera or a cell phone, but they are not. So uh, please be responsible, but more on that, our coach will show you the four rules. So a, a typical shooting package for a beginner would knock you back about 2,525 pesos. So this is an all-inclusive package which is quite popular with us right now. Lalo na the ladies on Wednesdays where they get an additional 50% uh, off on range fee and firearm rental. That said, our gentlemen are also uh, welcome with this package. So 2,525 gets you your ammunition, your rentals, your iron ear protector, target board, and the whole 1 minute and 15, 1 minute 20 with our instructor. Uh, for the non-beginners, you will expect to pay about 1,500 to 1,800. That is only your range fee, your firearm rental, and 100 ammunitions. And may we remind that the ammunitions are non-toxic. Learn the rules of gun safety and how to handle firearms like an expert from experienced National Range Officer Institute trainers.
With 18 spacious bays, fully automated target shooting, and a clean, smoke-free environment, this shooting range gives you the comfort you won't find in any other shooting range in the country. Hello, ako si Liner in Cabaron, isa sa mga range officer dito sa Stronghand Shooting Range. Ang gamit po natin dito, bago tayo pumutok, mayroon tayong airmap. Ang gamit naman po dito para hindi po mabingi yung puputok to. Then sunod, mayroon tayong eye protection para pag pumuputok kayo, may tatalsik na shell para hindi po tatama sa mata po natin. Ang tawag po dito is HS 9mm. So bago pumutok, dapat alam nyo po yung four rules gun safety. So unang-una, yung barrel, lagi nating isiping loaded to. Sunod, yung muscle ng barrel, lagi po nakatutok sa safe direction. Then, always trigger finger out. So, trigger finger in, pag ready na kayo pumutok. Then, pagkatapos niyo pumutok, lagi po nakalapag na naka-open. Ah, ito po. Dito sa range, mayroon tayong mga house rules. So, pag hawak-hawak po natin yung barrel, bawal po lumabas po dito sa red matting na to. So, pag pumutok kayo, dito lang po lagi sa loob. Cross-pairing, bawal. Kung nandito ka sa, sa number 14, sa number 14 lang po yung pwede niyong putukan. Hindi po pwede pumutok sa iba. Rapid pairing, bawal din. Yung sunod-sunod na pagputok, dapat paisa-isa lang. Pero kung kaya nyo ng double tap, kung kaya nyo ng double tap, double tap is okay lang. Then, yung muscle ng barrel, lagi nakatutok doon sa safe direction. Always trigger finger out, trigger finger in. Pag ready kayo na pumutok, So, ginagamit po nating bala dito is 5cc. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo po mamaya, hindi po siya mausok. Uh, hindi rin po maamoy. Then, accurate po siya. Then, pagloload naman po. So, dapat ito, pag ayan, push down, slide in. Ginagamit na speed loader. So, speed loader naman is mas madali po siya. So, paggamit, close, down, load, release, close, down, load, release. So, ito, laging nasa ibabaw to. So, hindi po pwedeng nakaganyan. Hindi po ba may load So, ito sa ibabaw. Close, down, load, release. Uh, ang pag sight naman po sa target, at tawag po dito is front sight, rear sight. So, ito, pag sinisipat nyo, kailangan yung front sight nasa gitna siya ng rear sight. Tapos, ito yung front sight nasa gitna po ng target nyo po sa orange na circle. Kailangan clear ito ah, blurred po yung target. Pag nagsasight po kayo, then blurred to. So, kung halimbawa ito yung clear, may mali po. Isa lang po magiging clear. Kumbaga, dito kayo naka-focus sa front side. Then, importante po ito yung pagkalabit. So, pag kinakalabit nyo po yung trigger, kailangan half press ka o is lock. Half press, tapos dahan-dahan. Kasi, pag kinalabit nyo po ng diretso, ang tama nyo po is lagi nasa baba. Kasi ang mangyayari is, Pag ganyan po. Then, pag kinakalabit nyo, kailangan nasa gitna po ng daliri. Kasi, pag nandito, ang tama nyo is puro kaliwa. Ang galaw ng daliri, pag ito ginamit kasi is pa ganun. So, pati yung baril gagalaw. Mas maganda sa gitna siya, half press, dahan-dahan. Then, yung stance naman po, kung kanan kayo, left foot forward, foot arm straight, then lean forward. Kaya naka-lean forward naman po kayo para yung second shot nyo is mas mabilis. Kasi pag nakaganito, yung second shot is mas mabagal kasi pag pumutok yan, gagalaw po yung katawan, aayos nyo, aayos nyo yung barrel, tatagal. So, mas maganda yung ganyan, parang galaw is pag ganito lang. Then, kaya naman nakadiretso yung dalawang kamay nyo para yung tama nyo is nasa gitna na siya, hindi na siya magle-left or right. So, problema nyo na lang kung hindi mataas, is mababa. Trigger finger in, sige. Sight mo, pantay-pantay ah. Trigger finger in, then half press. Pag sinabing half press, hanggang dito. Yan. Des. Tapos dahan-dahan kalabit. Yan. Nuro kanina. Then, squeeze slowly. Yan. Okay, ganun ulit. Ah. Stronghand Shooting Range invites all of its members and guests to try Asia's first indoor non-toxic firing range. We're here at Quezon City, 
Our telephone number is 8721-7174. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. Look for us at Stronghand1. Founding President Lawrence Hong donated a large amount of anti-epidemic materials to the city government of the Veleta Cavite in the name of Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated Cavite Chapter. Hong Chuanxiao Chuanghui Huizhang, Yi Zhongguo Shanghui Jia Mei Di Sheng Fenghui Mingyi, Juan Xian Jia Mei Di Sheng No Veleta Shi Zheng Fu, Yi Da Pi Kang Yi Wu Zi. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, many medical and medical supplies are very limited. Facing this situation, 菲律宾中国商会甲美地省分会筹备会创会会长洪传晓心急如焚，本着仁义己逆的人道主义精神，于日前以菲律宾中国商会甲美地省分会的名义，捐献甲美地省诺维里塔市政府一大批抗疫物资，包括防护面罩两万个、一次性口罩五万枚、N95 口罩两千个、消毒水八大箱。移交仪式在诺维里塔市政府办公室举行，由市长 Dino Reyes Chua 亲自接收。市长特别感谢该会的慷慨捐献，并表示，在这非常时期，虽然病毒无情，但是人间有情。希望大家互相帮助，共克时间，定能战胜疫情，雨过天晴，重见阳光。出席移交仪式的包括林火炎后任会长。陈清源后任执行副会长，龚国勇、九安旦等。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, International Chamber of Commerce Philippines, and International Chamber of Commerce jointly held the vaccine summit. 非工商总会及非国际商会联合国际商会成功举办疫苗峰会。四月三十号下午三时。菲律宾工商总会和菲律宾国际商会联合国际商会共同主办疫苗高峰会议，主题为“疫苗公平分配与安全”。邀请到中国驻菲特命全权大使黄希莲阁下，以及菲律宾政府官员、国际组织代表、商会领导和各家疫苗进口代理商出席演讲。此次峰会是为了让大家对当前的疫苗接种策略有更深入的了解。并分享解决接种疫苗瓶颈和挑战的建议，从而促进经济活力，并更快地恢复疫情前的增长势头。大会由菲律宾工商总会永远名誉主席、菲律宾国际商会创会主席蔡聪妙大使致欢迎词。非工商总会理事长兼菲律宾国际商会主席由辉哥大使、国际商会秘书长约翰·邓顿。以及飞华商联总会理事长林玉庆博士分别致开幕词。大会主要演讲嘉宾有：马尼拉市长伊斯科莫雷洛，菲律宾新冠肺炎国家工作队首席执行官和疫苗沙皇卡利多·加尔维斯，中国驻菲特命全权大使黄希莲，俄罗斯驻菲特命全权大使马拉特·帕夫罗夫。世界银行健康、营养与人口全球实践高级人类发展专家苏泰玉·奥桑普拉索博士，企业家、事务总统顾问、RFM 公司总裁兼首席执行官乔伊·君席商 z u e l e k 制药公司首席业务官珍妮特·杰克萨林女士 f a r b e r c o 生命科学公司医疗和法规事务总监鲁宁宁·维拉博士。菲律宾有关医生和公民组织创始人埃伦·兰德里托博士，非出口商总会兼全国雇主联合会会长塞吉奥·奥迪斯，卫生部促进健康与疾病预防控制局局长何加尔医师，中华崇仁总医院医疗主任洪鹏生医师，以及 GSE 菲律宾公司董事长、菲律宾国际商会总干事西素斯·苗里拉。蔡聪妙大使在致欢迎词中表示，新冠肺炎对公共卫生造成前所未有的挑战，对经济和社会造成毁灭性的破坏。新冠疫苗的到来象征着隧道尽头的曙光。发展中国家如何持续稳定地获得疫苗，已成为全球性的巨大挑战。大家要彼此合作与协调，才能度过难关。黄希莲大使在发表主旨讲话中表示。
，当前新冠疫情仍在全球肆虐，中国积极落实将疫苗作为全球公共产品的承诺，在加快推进国内接种的同时，向八十多个发展中国家和三个国际组织提供疫苗援助，并向四十多个国家出口疫苗，积极致力于全球疫苗公平合理分配。自疫情爆发以来，中国已向菲律宾捐赠了一百万剂疫苗，并优先向菲律宾出口疫苗。截至目前，已有三百五十万剂中国疫苗运抵菲律宾。个别国家对非疫苗需求隔岸观火，对中非分歧煽风点火。越是困难的时候，越要擦亮眼睛，看清楚谁是真正的朋友，谁是可靠的伙伴。与会人士一致赞赏中国为促进全球疫苗公平分配所做的积极努力，感谢中国为支持非疫苗接种工作所做的突出贡献。China t o w n News 非中新闻台综合报道。Since today is Mother's Day, let's learn some Mandarin phrases to make Mother's Day all the more special and fun by speaking Chinese at home. So, of course, we need to know how to say Happy Mother's Day in Mandarin, and that is, 母亲节快乐，母亲节快乐 And if you want to say, Mom, I love you, 妈妈，我爱你，妈妈，我爱你 In this world, only Mama is good. 世上只有妈妈好，世上只有妈妈好。Without you, there will be no me. 没有你就没有我，没有你就没有我。And of course, if you are planning to write a Mother's Day card, or you just simply want to greet your mom, you can say, "Mom, I wish you." 妈妈，祝愿您。妈妈，祝愿您。Forever healthy, 永远健康。永远健康 ，young and beautiful， 年轻美丽，年轻美丽 ，happy and blessed， 快乐幸福，快乐幸福。Indeed, we all want the best for our mothers because they have given us all that they can—love, care, and support. To all the moms out there, Happy Mother's Day， 母亲节快乐。A delegation from the World Food and Youth Federation of the Philippines, Incorporated, paid a courtesy visit to the United Front Work Department of the Chengdu Municipal Party Committee. 世界福建青年菲律宾年会一行礼访泉州市委统战部。四月二十二号下午四点，世界福建青年菲律宾年会会长王荣忠一行十六人礼访泉州市委统战部，由市委常委、统战部部长林万明亲自接待会见。市委统战部常务副部长、市侨办主任陈小玉，部会成员黄子荣陪同接待，与世青菲律宾联会同仁举行座谈会。在座谈会上，林万明关心询问侨胞侨商们生产生活情况，对广大全籍海外侨胞长期以来为家乡做出的贡献表示衷心感谢。他强调，应重视弘扬传承、乐善好施的华侨精神。并希望能推动年轻一代华人华侨加强与祖籍国和家乡的联系。陈小玉介绍了市委统战部落实涉侨重点专项任务工作进展情况，并希望世界福建青年菲律宾联会搭建好平台，促进泉州与菲律宾两地在各方面多交流，创造更多合作机会，实现互利共赢。王荣忠表示。希望了解家乡的建设发展情况和经济投资环境，以便让在非侨胞侨商了解情况，寻找经商投资机会，为加强两国的经贸文化交流，积极响应“一带一路”倡议，为菲律宾的进步发展、祖国的繁荣昌盛共谋发展、共创双赢。座谈会上，王荣忠特别提到。因为疫情原因，很多旅居海外的华侨侨胞们带着子女回到祖国，可是他们的子女面临一个入学就读的问题。很多子女入学就读也只是一个寄读生身份，没有正式的学生档案记录。为了帮助更多的华侨侨胞子女争取更多的权益，他特向两位领导阐明。
，希望统战部能协助跟省市教育局等有关部门沟通协商。让华侨侨胞的子女回国后更方便入学就读的问题能够得到圆满解决。两位领导也当场表示，会跟有关部门进行沟通协商。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。The Filipino Chinese Community Calamity Fund donated medical supplies to Manila and Batangas. 华社救灾基金向马尼拉市和巴丹加斯省赠送医疗物资。华社救灾基金于四月二十七日上午向民事第三区市议员 Joanna Marin a p o n e t o Rodriguez 赠送六千片口罩和价值两万披索的各种药物，以分发给有需要的民众。是日 a p o n e t o Rodriguez 市议员亲赴商总接收该批赠送物资。当天上午，该基金也分别向西仔坡区三百零九号苗龙牙。和三大 Cruz 区三百三十四号苗龙牙各赠送两千片口罩，价值一万披索的各种药物，十五盒莲花清瘟胶囊和四盒尿布等医疗物资，已分发给该区有需要的民众。西仔坡区三百零九号苗龙牙主席 Jose Manuel 以及三大 Cruz 区三百三十四号苗龙牙主席 j o n i s h o Busalba 亲赴商总接收该批赠送物资。与此同时，华社救灾基金当天上午也向巴丹加省三环社地方青年发展委员会赠送四千片口罩、两百个面罩、四件额温计、一百件护目镜和一箱硫酸亚铁片等医疗物资，慰劳该机构全体人员。巴丹加省三环社地方青年发展委员会由 Mario Tommy Moraleja 会长。和 Agripina Sulit 两位代表前赴商总接收该批赠送物资。以上的移交仪式有商总秘书长严长江博士、董事兼外交主任以及宋庆龄基金会集合、华住中心副主任施超全、社会共同主任许焕然、福利副主任柯顺庆、秘书长助理陈光灿、外交聘任委员刘少强、飞华各界秘书长蔡辉煌。校友联主席郭从院、华侨工商联会长林水珍、秘书长陈天地、林志鹏等代表主持。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。Maaring maharap ang Pilipinas sa matinding pagkalat ng COVID-19 gaya ng nangyari sa bansang India kung patuloy na hindi susunod ang mga Pilipino sa minimum health protocols. Fangyi si Xiang Bu Jiji, Hindu Sinkwan Yiqing, jiu ke neng fa sheng zai Filipin. 据飞龙网报道，菲律宾卫生部部长 Francisco Duque 表示，如果普通菲律宾人不遵循基本卫生检疫措施，政府不积极展开防疫检疫措施。菲律宾就很有可能面临类似于印度新冠疫情的大爆发情况。杜克表示，如果每个人不加强防疫检疫思想，本国就有可能再次经历新一波新冠疫情，就如同印度和世界其他国家正在经历的那样。人们必须从其他国家的情况吸取教训，而不是视而不见。人们不能过于自满，新冠疫情是多变万化的，必须时刻注意最新进展。他补充道：“本国可以学习各个国家的最佳实践，哪些做法应被避免，以确保抗疫步骤都是正确的。在这场战役中，人们必须互帮互助，抗疫责任必须落在每个人的肩上，而不是仅限于国家政府、地方政府或私营部门。办法总比困难多。本国是有机会战胜新冠疫情的，那就是让每个人佩戴好口罩及面罩。”保持安全距离，保持室内通风，并避免人群或群聚活动。随着菲律宾累计新冠病例已经突破百万，部分卫生专家担忧菲律宾可能面临类似印度的情况，每日激增数十万例的新冠病例。杜克希望首都区能够在两周后转为更宽松的普通社区隔离措施，但他也强调，政府以及卫生专家将密切关注该地区的日增病例以及医院病床使用率。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。Simula May One, ay ililift ng Pilipinas ang ban nito sa pagpasok ng mga foreign nationals maliban sa mga manggagaling sa India o may history ng pagbiyahe dito. 五月一日起，持有效签证外籍人士可入境菲律宾。据飞龙网报道，总统发言人哈里罗克四月三十号宣布，跨机构防疫工作组。
，自五月一号起放宽外籍人士入境菲律宾限制。外籍人士持有效签证且符合相关入境要求，可随时入境菲律宾。非移民局长莫文特在声明中说，该规定适用于持移民和非移民签证的外籍人士。这意味着持有有效和现有签证的外国居民、学生。投资者和劳工允许入境菲律宾。若外籍人士符合海外菲律宾人法的相关规定，即可免签证入境。依据第四零八号行政令，来自一百五十七个国家及地区名单且与菲律宾公民一同旅行的外籍配偶和子女，可免签入境，最长拘留一年。持退休移民签证及九 A 临时访客签证的外籍公民。需在入境时出示非外交部签发的入境豁免文件。除外交官及持九一签证的国际组织成员外，所有入境旅客需在经认证的隔离酒店完成至少七晚的隔离，且在第六日接受新冠检测。凡未能出示隔离酒店订单的入境旅客，都会被拒绝入境。移民局会安排最近一班航班，将该旅客送回原出发地。此外，罗克提醒外籍旅客，菲律宾当局自四月二十九号至五月十四号期间，对印度实施旅行限制令。来自印度或过去十四天曾到访印度的旅客，无论是非籍或外籍，都将被拒绝入境。尼诺阿基诺国际机场目前仍遵循每日最高入境旅客一千五百人的限制措施，部分国际航班或受影响。China Town News。非中新闻台综合报道。Natanggap na ng Pilipinas ang first batch ng Russia Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine noong Sabado. 1.5 万剂俄罗斯卫星五号新冠疫苗已运抵菲律宾。据菲龙网报道，五月一号下午四点，菲律宾疫苗事务负责人卡尔利托·加维斯在尼诺阿基诺国际机场三号航站楼迎接 1.5 万剂俄罗斯卫星五号新冠疫苗的到来。加维斯预计，第二批 48.5 万剂卫星5号疫苗也将于5月份交付菲律宾。当天下午3点四十分，执行运输任务的卡塔尔航空 Q 2 9 3 2航班抵达马尼拉机场。该批新冠疫苗于下午5点前运抵马尼基纳市的临时中转仓库，并将在未来几日陆续分发给首都区5个试点城市。当局计划从俄罗斯购买两千万剂新冠疫苗，其中一半将使用非卫生部的预算，另一半将利用亚洲开发银行此前提供的贷款。即使巴西政府以疫苗载体腺病毒仍有活性，并可能引起严重病症为由暂停俄国疫苗的批准审核，但菲律宾卫生部表示，根据现有数据，当局将继续俄国疫苗的接种活动。非卫生部副部长维基尔表示。非食品药物管理局已经授予卫星五号疫苗紧急使用授权，这意味其资料和数据都经过研究和审查，对人们来说是可接受和安全的。巴西国家药品监管机构 Anvisa 在研究中发现，有迹象表明，卫星五号疫苗使用的载体之一五型腺病毒仍具有活性，并可复制繁殖，但俄罗斯方面驳斥这一指控和报道。非卫生部表示，当局目前将继续卫星五号的疫苗接种活动，但若出现更多的支持数据，当局可以对疫苗重新进行评估。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。Nagtipon-tipon ang ilang grupo sa Welcome Rotonda para ipinawagan ang pagkakaroon ng pagtaas sa kanilang mga sweldo. Filipino 首都千人上街抗议，呼吁政府为失业群体发放一万批所援助金。据菲龙网报道，菲律宾首都区上千人选择在5月1日劳动节上街示威游行，抨击独特地当局抗议无能，并呼吁政府为失业群体提供更多援助。五一运动工会当天呼吁政府为失业劳工和贫困群体提供1万批所的现金援助，并为所有劳工提供100批所的日工资补贴。该工会主席拉伯格表示。政府提供的一千批所或四千批所援助金远远不够，受影响的劳工群体应收到一万批所或一点五万批所的援助金。该工会本计划前往马尼拉市的 Liwasan Bonifacio 广场举行抗议活动。
，但被马尼拉警方劝阻后，转战奎松市的 Workcom Rodanda， 与其他劳工团体一同举行大规模抗议活动。马尼拉警方当日还劝阻菲律宾团结劳工，本将在马尼拉市 m e n d i o l a 区的抗议活动。菲国警表示，当天共有 1,850 人参与奎松市的示威抗议活动，而警方则派出万人来维持秩序，并确保示威者佩戴口罩且保持安全距离。非卫生部提醒，此类大规模活动极有可能成为超级传播事件。并称，即使是在通风良好的地方或在开放的空间中，只要聚集一定的人群，就有可能导致病毒的传播。若出现超级传播者，传播速度要快得多。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。据菲律宾网报道，随着菲律宾政府宣布重启放宽版加强性社区隔离地区的室内堂食以及部分个人护理活动 ，OCTA 研究小组成员5月2号警告称，如果不实施必要的干预措施，室内堂食可能成为新冠病毒在社区传播的主因之一。小组专家吉多大卫表示，当局必须考虑各行各业的风险，对于一些高风险行业。希望政府不要重新启动他们，特别是站在公共卫生的角度上面，流动性越少，人与人互动的机会越少，病毒传播的机会也就越小。该小组提醒称，室内堂食必须拥有充足的通风，户外堂食模式是更为理想的选择。大卫表示，餐厅业者可能需要打开窗户或添置通风设施，以确保室内空气能够流通。现如今，放宽版加强性社区隔离地区的室内堂食活动已经恢复 10% 的客容量，而理发店、美容院和美甲店的客容量为 30% 与此同时，大卫表示，首都区各个新冠数字及指标都呈现下降或较好的趋势，其中过去7日的平均新增新冠病例相比与前一周减少了 18% 尽管情况有所改善。但 OCTA 研究小组提醒公众不要放松警惕，因为每日新增病例仍然很高。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。The Two Tree Philippines Foundation volunteers made birthday peach buns for Two Tree's 55th anniversary celebration. 菲律宾慈济志工为五十五周年庆赶制寿桃。一九六六年农历三月二十四日，正言上人在台湾花莲创立了慈济基金会。慈济的志业由慈善而医疗、教育、人文，从花莲开展至全球五大洲，已有六十六个国家设有分会或联络处，迄今援助超过一百二十多个国家。今年农历三月二十四日，迎来了慈济的五十五周年日。这一天也是正言上人的生日。现今菲律宾疫情依然相当严重，虽然志工们无法聚集在一起同庆，但乡基组的志工们却在慈济大厨房里烹制寿桃包、炒面线，及准备一份平安吉祥水果，让每一位志工能在各自的家里品尝上人的寿面和寿桃。并一起在云端为上人祝寿，也一起庆祝慈济五十五周年。农历三月二十三日，在慈济置业园区里的大厨房里，好几位善于烹饪的职工已忙了好些天。这边乡人人分工合作，揉面团、切面团，各自忙得不亦乐乎；另一边乡是人人把馅包进，并细心弄成一只只蜜桃形的寿包。这些远在菲律宾的志工为正言上人烹制的寿桃包，与众不同的特点就是特大。每只寿桃包皮重55克，馅重45克，整只寿桃包重100克。另一特色是馅有两种，一种是红豆沙馅，另一种是芋头沙馅。这一个个大寿桃包呈现眼前，要感谢志工。柳月生及何立红两夫妻。
他们已在慈济置业园区住了整整一星期，未呈现最美味可口的寿桃包。他们一遍遍的蒸，一遍遍的在失败中找出原因。这一个个又松软又香嫩的寿桃包，可是凝聚着每一位志工对上人的爱和祝福。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。The Filipino Chinese Anti-Epidemic Committee Returning Flights Dual Testing Monitoring Group worked together to fight the pandemic. 飞华抗疫委回国核酸血清双检督察组齐心协力抗击疫情，身在他乡守护国门。五月一号和五月二号连续两天，飞华抗疫委员会杨华红副总指挥率回国核酸血清双检督察组组长施纯成、副组长。孙明强、王珊珊等一行人前往由督察员胡云、杨文锦执勤的 BGC 圣鲁克医院，和由督察员杨家静、蔡良全执勤的恩典检测站，视察与指导当日前往国内的飞鹰航班及国航和宿务太平洋航空旅客回国核酸血清双检的督察相关工作。当前新冠疫情在非肆虐，且病毒变异情况相当复杂。为了切实有效地守护好祖国抗疫来之不易的成果，由华社抗疫委组建的回国核酸血清双检督察组全体志愿者，不怕困难，不畏私利，甚至冒着随时被病毒感染的危险，准时上岗，恪尽职守地执行中国驻非大使馆委派的任务，在每个血清及核酸检测点协助旅客做好护照信息登记、拍照、取检测条形码。血检抽血、鼻拭子采集等各环节的工作，副总指挥杨华红对双检督察组全体成员能坚守着铁的纪律、保持工作热情与认真表示肯定，并再三嘱托所有一线工作人员，在执行督察与监察任务的同时，千万要注意自身的安全和防护。China Town News 非中新闻台综合报道。India recorded more than 400,000 new COVID-19 cases last Saturday, the first time daily infections topped that milestone. Top U.S. adviser Anthony Fauci said, "India can learn from China's experience." India 单日新增确诊病例首超四十万例。美国传染病学专家福奇表示，印度需要学习中国的抗疫方法。据中新社报道，印度卫生部公布的数据显示，截至当地时间五月一号八时，印度二十四小时内新增新冠确诊病例四十万一千九百九十三例，累计确诊已超一百九十一万例。这是印度单日新增确诊病例首次超四十万例，也再次刷新全球单日单个国家新增病例数的记录。同时，该国日增确诊已连续十天保持在。三十万例以上。印度首都新德里首席部长凯杰里瓦尔五月一号宣布，因新增确诊病例不断飙升，首都新德里决定将原本于五月三号到期的封锁措施再延长一个星期，至五月十号午时。这是新德里第二次延长封城措施。在宣布这一决定时，凯杰里瓦尔表示，目前新德里等多地的医疗资源紧缺问题并未解决。据当地媒体称，当地时间五月一号，位于新德里的巴特拉医院因医用氧气耗尽，导致八名患者死亡，这其中还包括一名医生。对于这起个案，新德里高等法院在五月一号的一场聆讯中特别提及，并要求印度联邦政府为新德里特别做安排，确保当地能分配到一些医用氧气。由于担心在印度发现的变异病毒，美国政府已宣布将从五月四号开始限制来自印度旅客入境。美国传染病专家福奇表示，疫情在中国爆发时，中国政府在短时间内采取了及时有效的措施，阻断了新冠病毒的传播链条。从中长期来看，印度需要做中国人面临危机时所做的事，即在数天或数周内造出方舱医院这样的应急措施，用来照顾民众。非中新闻台综合报道。
Nakakamiss kumain sa labas, lalo lang akong nagugutom kapag nakikita ko yung mga social media posts ng ex-bistro. Nakakamiss yung dry malatang nila. Authentic hot and spicy malatang sauce mixed with thin sliced beef with premium assorted meatballs and vegetables. Hala, ang sarap! Mas maiksi na ang curfew hours, 10pm hanggang 4am simula sa Sabado. Mas maiksi yan sa kasalukuyang 8pm to 5am. Senyales siya ng pagluluwag ng mga patakaran. So pwede nang lumabas ang 18 to 65 years old, may curfew from 10pm to 4am, 10% indoor dining and 50% outdoor dining. Huy, sakto! Merong indoor and outdoor dining ang ex-bistro. Mukhang may chance mapagbigyan ang cravings ko. Hmm! Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! Today, samahan niyo ako sa X-Bistro! Game, tara! <laughs> So guys, meron din silang sanitation mat. Meron din po silang temperature check. Meron din pong hand sanitizer. At meron din po silang health checklist form. Wow! Talagang sumusunod sa safety protocols ang X-Bestro. Tingnan nyo, merong X mark on their seat which means dapat vacant or empty ang area na to. And they also advised everyone to wear their face mask and face shield until food is served. Very strict but very nice. Guys, selfie! Compress! Oops! Joke lang po! Social distancing tayo! Delicious food choices at safe dining place ba ang hanap mo? x Shop got you! My name is Krizal and I am inviting you to visit and to enjoy x Bistro Laboratories, safe dining place and delightful cuisine choices. Mmm! We end our episode for today. Once again, my name is Candice Lam. Join us again next week for another episode here on Chinatown. We'll see you next week. And happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day!